Welcome to Snail Trail 4x4, I'm Jimmy Jett, and if you like building Toyotas and going off-roading, then this is the channel for you. Make sure you're hitting that subscribe button down in the corner. Today I'm here with Megan from TRD Buildup, and we're going to do a rig walk-around on her truck. Just tell me about the year, make, model of your truck. So it is a 2012 Toyota Tacoma um, Access Cab and TRD Off-Road. Why did you choose the Access Cab? I chose the, well, one pricing. Okay. Um, the double cab is a lot more money. Um, it was just nice to have the bigger bed, you know, just to have that six foot bed and have more room. So that's right. where the decision was made. All right. So you chose for a smaller cab and a larger bed. Correct. So you can haul more stuff around there. Definitely. There you go. Yeah. All right. What do you have under the hood? Do you have a V6 or the four cylinder? V6. Okay. Yep. Have you done anything to it? Uh, just cold air intake and that's it. All right. And then um, how about going down? Are we just stock transmission? Are we doing auto or manual? Auto. Auto trans transmission. Yep. And stock T case and everything there. Mm -hmm. um, and then from there out, I mean, stock axles and for the most part, anything done inside of those? Correct. Nope. All stock. <laughs> okay. So bone stock on, on, the, on the guts for the most yep. part. So uh, let's jump out to suspension now. So what have we done? What upgrades have we done to fit these massive tires? So I have Total Chaos upper control arms, uh, Old Man Emu leaf springs, and okay. Bilstein 5100s all around. All four corners. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Now I do know on the rear axle, since it's a TRD, you have the E-locker. Correct. Um, and, but you didn't do any re-gearing. No, to it. not yet. Is that in the works? It is, yes. Yeah. Soon. It, it needs to be. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Okay. Well, how about wheels and tires? What are we running? Wheels and tires, we have 35 inch Falcons and the wheels are Toyota Trail Team FJ wheels. Um, super awesome, pretty rare. <laughs> yeah, you were telling me that people are offering you a lot of money for those? Yeah, and I'm having a hard time getting a fifth one actually for okay. the spare when I get the swing out bumper. So nice. if you know of one, yeah. contact me. <laughs> TRD Buildup. Yep. All right, well then let's uh, let's jump into armor next. Okay. Uh, you've got armor on all around and underneath this vehicle. Uh, let's uh, talk about what's going on here in the front. So on the front here, I have the grill is from South Reno Fab. Um, and then we have a relentless fabrication bumper as well as the relentless fabrication skid plate underneath. Cool. And then on the sides, we got some rock sliders. We do, yes. Those are also relentless. Are they? Do you know what model they are? Is there they, a model? You know, I don't know what model they are. They're the kick out ones. Um, and I got this specifically for, um, they act as a sidestep and I go paddle boarding all the time. So I can step up and get my boards on and off. So I love those and they're welded go. on. Cool. So what do we have on the rear? So the rear, we have a Fab Fours bumper. Um, and I wanted the, again, for the paddle boards, one of the pull downs. Um, had a little accident with the truck. So this needs to be taken off and put back on, but it's, it's a great bumper for sure. So we got a lot of stuff happening here in the bed. Um, Me too. Tell us what's going on and what you've got. So for starters, probably my favorite thing is the bed side. Um, I had this and I installed this because before I had a camper shell on. So when stuff would fall to the back, it was super hard crawling back there. And this just makes it so simple. So brings the whole bed of the truck out. Nice. Yeah. How much weight can that hold? So this completely extended out holds a thousand pounds, believe it or not. I haven't tested it yet, but that's so it'll hold me. It says. So yes. if we pull it all the way out, I can stand on it. Absolutely. All right, we'll have to test that. Uh, cool. So what? what we got a pretty sweet rack system in here. Yeah. Uh, what is this? So this is a Leitner design bed cage. Um, What's super cool about this is it's completely customizable. So you can order as many, uh, say, bed bins as you want, mm -hmm. um, the Rotopack mounts, high lift jack mounts. Um, they have the Max Tracks mounts. Um, I actually bought mine used, so I didn't get to choose what it came with. But the right here, I have a Outer Limit Supply medical case, and I built the mount for that. Um, and then I also built the shovel mount on the side. Okay. So it's, but you could, I mean, you can contact them and say, I want to, yeah, you can contact pick, them and pick whatever out, right? out yeah. you want as much as, so that's, that's neat that that's they do that. Cool. Right on. Um, how about light system? We got these, uh, crazy rigid lights back here. Yes. Have the rigid industry, uh, reverse lights. This splices into the backup lights. So anytime I put the car in reverse, they're on, sorry to the person behind me, but just lights up, just the world. Lights up their world. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. 
Uh, so up out here on the front, we've got a Race RS Sport light bar. How uh, you know how big it is? Uh, 52. 52 inch. Curved. inch. Yep. Curved, we right? got the cases on because in California, it's illegal to drive around without those on. Yep. Anything above your headlights, actually, mm -hmm. is, uh, it's illegal. Um, and then they just have some pretty sweet custom brackets on yeah, there. Yeah, I got so those custom cool. cut at a local fab shop, so nice. love those. And then what'd you do back here with the taillights? That is just the simple blackout paint for lights. Oh, really? So, yep. And you can just go, is it, you go anywhere and purchase Pretty much, that, yeah, online. And okay. it's pretty cheap, and you just take it off and clean the casing and spray it on, and it's good to go. <laughs> That's sweet. Yeah. Um, we also have something hidden in the back here. We do, yes. Let's check that out. So back here, pretty dirty, but have the um, the hidden mount from Expe Expedition Essentials. Um, have the single ARB air compressor, which is wired up, super nice. Can put, put the hose on, uh, just flip the switch inside the truck, and it's good to go. So there's a few upgrades on the inside of the cab. What have you got going on? So I got custom leather seats. I have a CB radio, a Cobra back there. Um, I have a sub. The deck has been replaced by a Pioneer deck. And then I have a pretty cool uh, Go Get a Grip. Sent me a cool bike shift knob. Take that. Really? That's <laughs> yeah. cool. Yeah. Where's that at? It's right there. Okay. The shift knob. Nice. Yeah. Patches up top, mm -hmm. uh, my collection going, and then just the switches for the ARB and the lights and all that fun stuff. Sweet. Well, I appreciate everybody watching today, and uh, thank you so much for uh, showing off your rig. Is there, do you want to do a little plug for yourself and what you do on your Instagram channel? Sure. So my Instagram and my YouTube is Tierdy Buildup. Um, I'm going to start doing some more videos and tutorials and whatnot, so make sure you subscribe and follow. Yep. Appreciate everybody watching. Hammer down on that subscribe button. And don't forget, keep crawling.